Hi, my name is Brendan Power. I'm here to show you a quick craft idea of taking a simple dollar store votive holder and making it into a decorative one like the ones you see here. What you'll need is decorative paper, a color photocopy of the decorative paper, regular scissors, an X-Acto knife, a paintbrush, artist's acrylic medium, a votive candle holder, and a little container for your acrylic medium. The decorative papers that I chose, I found at a local art supply store, but I've also seen beautiful selection of papers at uh, specialty paper stores, or stationery stores for that matter. I take each one of the patterns that I'm going to choose for the set of tea lights, and I take colored Xeroxes, and the reason for that is because there's more translucency with colored Xerox than with the original paper, so the, the candle light shows through better. So now we're going to cut the piece of paper in half, and the reason for that is, is that the votive candle holder is about half the width. So now with the medium I'm just going to put a little bit. It goes quite a ways, so you don't need a whole bunch. Now we're going to apply the acrylic medium to the votive. I find it easy just to stick two fingers in and sort of separate them to hold the votive. And then just apply a very thin coat, fairly rapidly because it dries quite quickly, all the way around the votive. So you've got your half sheet of paper, turn it around, and then try to center your votive like so, and then just wrapping it fairly tightly all the way around to that point then what I usually do is cut off the excess just to make the trimming easier and then to make a perfect seam just take the exacto blade extend it sort of find out where the two pieces of paper overlap cut into the paper and then straight down and then that should make a perfect seam and then with that you'll just leave it to dry for three or four hours just to make sure it's very dry before you trim off the edge so now it's perfectly dry and it's easy to trim off the edge with a long blade exacto knife just sort of pierce feeling the edge of the glass and just saw all the way around and then just finish the bottom up like so and I just wrap my fingers around it just to burnish the edge of the paper against the glass and that's the rough form. So now we're going to apply a coat of the acrylic medium. Again using two fingers so you can spin it around without touching the edges. And just give it a clear coat all the way around the votive. I like to see it with three or four coats, letting it dry for three or four hours in between. It's really as easy as that. And here's another idea. It's using existing serviettes, fabric ones, that I put on the photocopier and made the coordinating tea lights. You know, you can, you can use practically anything. It could be magazine clippings, it could be wrapping paper. It's really anything that you, you can imagine. Thank you so much for watching.